you go. ready for the reveal? Let's go. Wow, dude. Do you remember Luma AI that lets you take any Nerf environment and drop it in your Unreal Engine 5 scenes within a matter of seconds? Well, they just buffed this new plugin with a new update. There are five new sample scenes that you can go and download and try it for yourself. So if you don't have a drone or a phone or a camera, don't worry. You can go to their website and download it right now. And these sample scenes are super high quality. We'll be showing them to you later. But before that, there's two new features that we're super pumped about. The crop feature and the exposure feature that are both now native within Unreal Engine 5. And if you don't know what those are, we are going to go behind the computer and show them to you right now. Let's go. So first of all, when you go to their documentation, there's a 5.1 and 5.2 game and cinematic version. Game, of course, is gonna have probably third person and first person involved and interactiveness, which we will do a video about later on. But for now, we're gonna go to the cinematics and download 5.2 right here. Now, one more thing that is super neat is they added Unreal Engine 5 sample field files that they've taken themselves, and there's five of them, Farhad. The drawbridge, a psychic reading, drone two loops, capital, and playground. The template comes, comes with, with the drawbridge, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah. The first one. We are going to check out some of them. Do you want to check out any of them? Let's go for the capital. Okay, capital. That's a drone shot. Um, let's go ahead and download it right here. Taken by Navi. Shout out to Navi. He's a dope guy. And we're in. First of all, what a good freaking scan this is, man. Let's Let's look at that quality, bro. Yeah. You know what I always like to do, right? Bring the globe and then zoom in. Get ready for the magic of Nerf. And boom, you just have this realistic environment. I think like... all of our YouTube videos <laughs> have that intro. It just looks so cool. Like, dude, we haven't even started without camera or lighting or anything. But just look at this. Just look at a camera shot going in. And who do you think we should put at the end there? Lord Voldemort. Lord Voldemort. It looks like Hogwarts. So we should put him at the back. Maybe change the light and make it a night scene. And then... Eh, say no more. I want to tell you guys about my favorite feature that is going to be a game changer for anybody with a shitty PC. Do you know why? Why? Because they added the crop feature. Let me explain. So if you open any nerfs right now, they come in this globe form, which means you have all of this volumetric information that you don't necessarily need to process because you're not going to use it. So let's try to test something out. Let's open the statistics for our FPS. Right now we're running at 120. I assume if we go in and out, okay, so we have an RTX 4090, so our, our FPS is gonna be quite high. Bragging. Yes, but I'm gonna show you guys the difference. So when you guys go to the blueprint of the drawbridge, and if you hide it, you can see, this is your nerf, there's new settings now. One of which is crop. So all you gotta do is search for it. And you have the minimum and maximum bounding box. And these controls allow you to crop in and out of your nerf. And we're gonna try that right now. Look at that. Boom. Do you see that? You see that? Let's just do a test. Look at that. Do you see? Oh. It like cuts it, it slices your nerf so that you don't process all the unnecessary stuff. And can you show it from the side? It looks like a cake now. All of this we don't need. It's useless information. All of that stuff that we just removed was being processed for no reason. I wanna show you something. So right now, the FPS we're running is 120. But just moving around the scene, you see it's dipping down. It's dipping down to like 80. Do you see that? Do you see that? Yeah. It's dipping down to like 80, 70. Now let's try to bring everything back. And let's try to move in the scene. When you don't crop it, look at the FPS. We're running at 60, 50. When you're moving in and out, and then let's control Z, bring back the crop. Look at the FPS now. We're going in and out, right? It's around 120, 80, 90. We know some of you guys had issues with your FPS, especially running nerfs on lower end PCs. This is gonna be really helpful for you guys. And also at the same time, like even if you're running a beefy PC and you wanna add in different characters. If you don't need it, yeah, if you don't need the scene, why do you keep it? Exactly, so you can crop your nerfs now, which is really cool. Another feature they added is exposure. So if you go to exposure, you now have access to change the color of your nerf, the exposure of your nerf for whatever reason. So first of all, you wanna make it a little darker. You can do that. You wanna have a little bit of color added to your whole nerf. Oh, 
you now can do that. And and the reason why this is exciting, don't look at this, this is an environment, but imagine if your nerf was just one object and you wanted to affect its exposure, this is just a very quick way to do it right now within the blueprint itself. It's just using a slider, which I find pretty neat. And look at how everything is reacting to the lighting. Look at the bricks. It's like different time of the day. It's beautiful. Can you even tell this is not real? Check this out. Let us test out the capital, capital, right? Okay. All you have to do when you get another file is just, it's dot .luma, just bring it in, just import it. It's as simple as that. And then bring the globe and zoom in. You ready? This is the capital. Whoa. This is an amazing scene. Whoa. Let's you go. ready for the review? Let's go. Wow. Whoa, dude. This is so crazy, man. The, the quality, like, you know how far the buildings we are covering here? Enough playing around. Let's dive in with the camera. With Bloom, this thing looks so good. Oh, so dreamy. Yeah, exactly. Imagine like a shot like... I think movies should start using these transitions. How cool is that? We are movies. We're gonna have the camera here and then we're gonna go down here. Wow. Look at this shot, yo! Wow. Can you ease out? Weighted tangents. There you go. There you yeah. go. This is what I want. Yeah. This three. It's like intro of a game. It's like, I believe this is the Z. If it's moving fast and then we have like motion blur, like, and then imagine you put a text, text. 3D. Wow. This is dope. This is really dope. This was a new update, 0.2 Lumaya Unreal Engine plugin. Make sure you go and try it out, especially if you had a hard time rendering your Nerf, because now we can crop it out, and I think it would be much easier to render it on your system. Yeah, so there's new sample files as well. We tested out two of them, the drawbridge and the capital. There's more, check them all out and let us know what you guys think about it. If you have any questions, you guys can always join our Discord channel. We're always happy to help you guys out. And until the next video, see you we'll guys, see you guys later. Take care.